This right here is the earliest sketch of the Porsche Cayenne that I could find. If we zoom in, you can see this is from 98 and this is way before the Porsche Cayenne went into production. And I'm going to show you these sketches, the development of this car, because I think Porsche Cayenne is a really interesting car. It started out in 2003 a little bit confused here when we look at the generations a little later on. And then as the generations went on up until the 2020 model, I think it matured into a gorgeous looking SUV. So let's have a look at these sketches here. I think it's so funny to find these old sketches and see wh where their designers ideas was at the time. You can see that this is clearly completely different to the design that we have in the first generation 2003 Cayenne. We have some very, uh, I would say, innovative designs for these headlights, something that doesn't look Porsche at all, in my opinion. We also have the body, the, the greenhouse, looking a little strange. It feels like they're really struggling. This is the first Porsche ever that had four doors. So I think they were struggling a lot in the beginning of the development of the Cayenne to come up with a design language because Porsche is such a evolutionary design, the 911 specifically over time. It's just small changes year to year and it still today looks like the original 60s 911. So how do they turn that type of design into a completely different format which is a four-door <laughs> lifted SUV and I think as you can see right here looking at the rear view they had a bit of problems with this new design language. It's basically like designing a brand new brand from scratch. Let's just say that I'm thankful that they decided to go in a different direction. So here we have sketches. I can't really um, see where what the date is for this, but this is the first generation Porsche Cayenne design sketches. And just have a look at the movement and the power in these sketches. You can feel the movement and the artistic expressions in these sketches. They're not clean at all. You can see all the lines going on here. This is what I love about design sketching, when the designers really express themselves artistically in their sketches and not make it a clean, you know, Photoshop render all the time. This is what I want to see. This is more of a piece of, piece of art than a uh, design sketch. And here we have the callouts for the Cayenne, as you can see right here, all the details called out from, from the uh, earlier sketch that I showed you. And it's really interesting to see the design thought of the uh, designers of the time. Here's a rear view. We can see we have twin tailpipes as a call out. We have a wide shoulder that they wanted to have. Obviously, it's a Porsche. We need to have this rear wide shoulder and this wave form because this is typical Porsche design, something that you can't just dismiss going from a sports car to an SUV. So let's have a look at the first concept of the Cayenne and here it is. It was actually a convertible, believe it or not. And this has a very interesting proportion to it, as you can see. Quickly just want to show you this because it's such a special design. Very bubbly all around. And then we have this upswing right here with no roof on it. Very conceptualized, but the crazy part happens in the rear because the designers, they wanted to see two different, like a two-face uh, Cayenne, as you can see right here. They wanted to have two different variants of the rear end. I guess they were happy with how the front end looked like because you can see that this is also how the first generation production turbo looks like. So they were kind of nailing the front end down. But looking at the rear, they weren't really sure how they wanted to, uh, to design the rear. Personally, I think I'm more in favor of this side, the left side, than the right side. This reminds me of a Porsche 928, the very early 928s, the 86s with this uh, taillight position. And this is a cool concept, but I still am pretty happy they didn't put this into production because first of all, it's a convertible SUV Porsche that no one has ever seen before. The like of from Porsche and it's also a two-door, so I don't think this would sell very well. Now let's jump into the generations here and starting with the 2003 Porsche Cayenne up here. This is a design that to me looks very confused. It, it feels like they really tried to figure out how to create the proportions of 
a Porsche SUV with the first generation. In the rear it doesn't look too bad but I think the front end looks too stubby and these headlights are too uh, big vertically. I want to have them be slimmer since we need to reduce the stubbiness in the front end. Overall I mean it's imagine being a designer at Porsche in the late 90s when they had in the early 90s Porsche had a lot of uh, financial troubles they were almost bankrupt and then uh, the Boxster came out in 96 sort of saved the company or at least gave it a bit of revenue stream into the company to keep it afloat but they still figured out that they needed to do something else they needed to create a best-selling Porsche and it wasn't supposed to be a sports car a, a Porsche for as a family car and that's how the Cayenne came into the picture and essentially saved the entire company in 2003 when this came out moving on to the 2008 and this is the GTS version right here I think the GTS is probably my favorite trim level because I feel it it combines the uh, the comfort of a um, continental cruise with the sportiness of the turbo but it's not as aggressive as the turbo and I also like that we have the uh, the body colored pieces all the way to the lower part of the car more of a uh, road car than an off-road car with these painted features right here you can see the design changes of the headlights they got a little slimmer in the 2008 version I really like how they updated this and it's starting to feel now that Porsche trying to figure out the proportions and the graphics of how to make this work throughout the generations. The 2008 better in my opinion than the 2003 but they're still not there. So let's have a look at the 2011. This is probably I think when I look at the front end of this this is most likely the favorite front end for me when it comes to the Cayenne I love the fluidity of the hood for example these lines that dip all the way down reducing this stubbiness that we have in the previous generations as you can see it kind of just abruptly ends and then there's a massive mouth here it's integrated in a more subtle more elegant way in the 2011 version and it also looks a lot like the 911 of the time and we also have a very simple design almost like a triangular design of the headlights simplifying everything and hammering in the original graphics of what we know Porsche to be and I think that was a good idea looking at the rear I'm not a huge fan of these taillights I think they don't have anything to do with Porsche history wise or DNA it's just something that they try to implement on the Cayenne of the 2011 they look uh, too uh, complex in the in the outline of the shape specifically when they decided to simplify the front end the headlights and then the rear end they decided to make more complicated it just doesn't really make sense to me but then moving in to 2015 you can see the changes here from 2011 to 15 it got a little bit more static in the front end it, it, but I think it got more elegant as well and more uh, tie, uh, more confident in, uh, confidence in the front end because we have a nice framing now of all the front end graphics the intakes which here you, you can see it goes up down in different levels now they're all in the same lines so still have these gorgeous lines in the hood creating less of a stubby nose the headlights updated from the previous generation now we have these four LEDs that is uh, today a very important identifier for Porsche the rear end they took this design slimmed it down a little bit but I'm still not a huge fan of how the taillights look on the 2015 uh, model with this dip right here that goes in and then we have a curvature that is not really um, confident it has a different various radiuses following the curvature and it doesn't look like uh, the designers had the taillights nailed down properly in my opinion but I do like this sharp corner sharp edge here creating a nice uh, diffuser in the bottom and a nice normal looking bumper for the rear now moving on to the 2018 model there's not a lot of changes between these two and this was more of a facelift just for the front end but I do like I do prefer the 2015 over the 2018 just because I do like the chamfers that we have around the front end graphics here they're kind of disappearing we do have a little bit of a chamfer here I don't know to me the 2015 feels fresher than the 2018 
2018. The rear still pretty much the same as the 2015. Now going on, moving on to the current generation, the 2020. This is just a beautiful looking beast of a machine. This is the 2020 Turbo S the top of the line. I love the front end and how it evolved from the original concept of the convertible can that I showed you and how it turned out to grow up to be this beautiful SUV with its own identity separated from the 911. It couldn't have been done in any other way. This is something that requires time if you want to create a separate brand from a brand such as Porsche which has such a strong identity of what it is it's going to require a lot of time and I think today look at the taillights and the updates from the 2018 model this is going back to its roots applying a little bit of that Porsche 911 design to the taillights but it works on this package and the thing is Porsche obviously has the Porsche Cayenne Coupe usually I'm not a fan at all of SUV coupes because they, they feel like they do uh, things 50-50 and not something 100%. So they try to be good at a lot of things, which means that they're great at nothing. However, the Cayenne Coupe, I think it, it's one of these SUV, the, probably the only SUV Coupe, in my opinion, that really looks great and it looks natural to have that. And I think that's all thanks to the 911 sloping roofline that we're used to seeing and that in combination with these new graphics it just looks like a Porsche that that it's not something that is forced to be a coupe like every other SUV coupes out there where they just chop off the rear end and mess up the proportions I'm sure Porsche will continue to design and uh, develop the Porsche Cayenne probably next generation who knows it's probably going to be electric but I think the, it's an interesting analysis to do this going from the initial design of the Cayenne 2003 very confused doesn't know what to look with what to do with these Porsche 911 graphics and how to implement them on an SUV and then going down to today and it all grown up and it's beautiful one of the best looking SUVs in my opinion on the roads today thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video